Beretta, a groundbreaking TV series from the mid-1970s, stands as a testament to the enduring allure of character-driven storytelling in television. Its lead, Tony Beretta, a nonconformist plainclothes police officer, navigated the gritty urban landscape with a unique blend of street smarts and moral conviction. This show's essence raises a compelling question. What enduring qualities make it an everlasting symbol of the industry? The answer lies not just in its innovative narrative style, but also in its ability to resonate with viewers on a personal level. Many fans have shared how this series has inspired or impacted their lives, weaving its themes and characters into their own narratives. This brings us to an invitation for you. What is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this series? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. The show, while known for its catchphrase, don't do the crime if you can't do the time, offered more than catchy one-liners. Its portrayal of a detective who adopts various disguises to solve crimes broke the mold of traditional crime dramas of its era. The character's pet cockatoo Fred became a symbol of the show's unique blend of seriousness and whimsy. But beyond these quirky elements, Beretta delved into social issues, often addressing themes like corruption and racial tension, which were particularly resonant during the 1970s. This blend of entertainment and social commentary has secured its place in the pantheon of classic TV shows. It's this combination that prompts us to ask, can you share how Beretta has impacted your life or inspired you? As we reflect on this iconic series, let's remember its contribution to the landscape of television and its lasting impact on audiences. Whether it's the memorable characters, the innovative storytelling, or the way it touched our lives, Beretta remains a shining example of television's power to entertain, engage, and inspire. Beretta, a gritty and pioneering crime drama series that emerged in the mid-1970s, introduced television audiences to an unconventional and streetwise detective, Tony Beretta. Portrayed with remarkable charisma by Robert Blake, Beretta was a departure from the typical law enforcement characters of the time. His unorthodox methods, often bending the rules to achieve justice, resonated with a generation seeking more relatable and flawed heroes. The show was a spin-off from Toma, retaining the realistic and edgy tone of its predecessor, but infusing it with a more charismatic and singular lead character. Distinctly dressed in his signature t-shirt, jeans, and a cockatoo named Fred as his unlikely companion, Beretta became an iconic figure in popular culture. His catchphrase, don't do the crime if you can't do the time, echoed the ethos of the era's changing view on crime and justice. The series set itself apart through its blend of drama and moments of lightheartedness, capturing the complexities of urban life. The impact of the show on popular culture was significant. It not only influenced subsequent crime dramas with its mix of action and character-driven storytelling, but also left a lasting imprint through its stylish presentation and memorable main character. Beretta's blend of toughness and vulnerability, combined with the show's gritty realism and moments of humor, offered a new template for television detectives. As a trailblazer in the genre, the series remains a touchstone for understanding the evolution of crime dramas on television, reflecting both the style and social consciousness of its time. The legacy of Tony Beretta, with his unique approach to fighting crime and his memorable quirks, endures as a symbol of 1970s television, embodying a shift towards more complex and humanized portrayals of law enforcement figures. Building on the unique qualities of the show, a notable aspect of Beretta was Robert Blake's use of various disguises. This feature added an intriguing layer to the character's crime-solving tactics. Unlike traditional detectives who relied on standard investigation methods, Blake's Tony Beretta adopted multiple identities to gather information and outsmart criminals. This approach not only showcased his versatility as a law enforcement officer, but also provided an entertaining and suspenseful element to each episode. It reflected the show's commitment to innovative storytelling and character development, distinguishing it from other crime dramas of its era. The use of disguises also allowed for a deeper exploration of the protagonist's personality and skills, further engaging the audience. This strategy, a carryover from the series Toma, helped maintain a sense of continuity and connection between the two shows. In essence, the incorporation of disguises into the narrative framework of Beretta was a testament to its creative approach to the crime drama genre, reinforcing its status as a groundbreaking television series. Delving further into the distinctive features of the series, the theme song Keep Your Eye on the Sparrow stands out as a memorable element. 
Initially introduced as an instrumental piece, the song underwent a significant transformation in later seasons with the addition of lyrics, sung by the renowned entertainer Sammy Davis. Junior, this change not only enhanced the show's appeal, but also underscored its evolution over time. The inclusion of vocals by a prominent artist like Davis brought a new layer of sophistication and cultural relevance to the series. This theme song, evolving alongside the show, mirrored the dynamic nature of Tony Beretta's character and the series' overall progression. The choice of Davis, known for his versatile talent and charismatic stage presence, aligned perfectly with the show's ethos of blending drama with elements of style and charisma. In essence, the evolution of the theme song from an instrumental to a vocal piece performed by Sammy Davis Jr. reflects the series' commitment to staying contemporary and engaging, contributing to its enduring legacy in the landscape of television crime dramas. Exploring a unique aspect of the series, the availability of Beretta on DVD presents a curious situation. While the first season can be readily purchased, fans face challenges accessing the later seasons. Specifically, seasons two and three are only obtainable through unofficial channels, often found as bootlegs. This situation reflects a broader issue in the preservation and distribution of classic television shows. More intriguing is the case of season four, which appears to be virtually unattainable. There's speculation that these episodes might have been lost or destroyed, possibly due to accidents or mishandling. This loss, if true, represents a significant gap in the historical record of television. It also highlights the fragility of media preservation, reminding us of the importance of maintaining cultural artifacts. The series, known for its innovative storytelling and memorable characters, thus becomes partly enshrouded in mystery due to this incomplete archival status. Fans and historians alike are left wondering about the content of the missing episodes and the potential insights they could offer into the evolution of the show and its characters. This situation adds an almost mythic quality to the later episodes, fueling curiosity and speculation among enthusiasts. As a result, the series not only lives on through its impact and legacy, but also through the mysteries surrounding its incomplete archival presence. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the captivating world of the 1975 television series that brought us the unforgettable character of Tony Beretta, it's a moment to pause and ponder. This show, more than just a sequence of episodes, has woven itself into the fabric of our collective nostalgia. It's fascinating, isn't it, how a story from the screen can become a part of our personal tapestry. I invite you now to cast your mind back to the first time you encountered the streets and sounds of Beretta's world. Was it the unique blend of drama and humor, or perhaps the clever, parrot-accompanied sleuth that drew you in? Each episode was a window into a reality so distinct, yet somehow familiar. Reflect on how this series may have touched your life. Did it shape your perspective on justice or redefine your understanding of a hero? Maybe it's the smaller moments that linger in your memory, a line of dialogue that resonates, a scene that still plays vividly in your imagination, or the theme song that occasionally plays in the back of your mind. This is an invitation to share those reflections and memories. What moments from the show do you hold dear? How has it stayed with you through the years? Your stories and thoughts form the mosaic of this show's enduring legacy. Thank you for taking this nostalgic stroll with me. Your time and interest in revisiting a classic are what keep the spirit of these stories alive. Remember, every memory you share is a tribute to the timeless magic of storytelling.